Shot in Kansas? Maybe Oklahoma. Nope. More like this location right off the Taconic Parkway in Columbia County, New York, right in the Mid-Hudson Valley region. The following regarding the environment that day was taken from the NWS page in Albany, New York. The direct link is in the description below. Fast 500 millibar flow existed over the northeast U.S. on May 15th between a strong upper low over northern Quebec and a high over the deep south. While 500 millibar height falls were weak, there was a right entrance region of a strong upper jet which enhanced ascent. At the surface, a northeast-southwest oriented cold front tracked eastward throughout the day. There was a bit of an outflow boundary present associated with the showers and thunderstorms that tracked through the Mohawk Valley Capital District earlier in the day, allowing for effective position of the front to sag further south than originally forecast and spared the I-90 corridor and points north from severe weather potential. To the south, there was plenty of sunshine through the morning and early afternoon which allowed temperatures to soar into the upper 70s in the Catskills to upper 80s in the Mid-Hudson Valley, with dew points in the low 60s in the Catskills and upper 60s in the Mid-Hudson Valley. This allowed a tongue of 1,000 to 2,000 ml Cape values to surge into the eastern Catskills, Mid-Hudson Valley, and northwestern Connecticut by 18Z. Along with that, a pocket of mid-level lapse rates in the 6.5 to 8C range were also present. Effective bulk shear values were very impressive at 60 to 70 knots, co-located with the axis of instability. These factors coming together, along with the continued CAM models showing several Boeing lines of storms, prompted an SPC categorical upgrade to moderate risk with the 1630Z update. This included probabilities of 10% tornado, 30% hail, and 60% wind. We'll begin as we approach our target storm on the Taconic Parkway. No way, is that big pull off right in the path where you want to be? Maybe. There's a nice pull off here that has a beautiful look to the west. Oh, well, that would be nice. If that's in the spot we want, we could just sit there and watch for a while. That would be great. Tornado warned. There you go. We're in it. Yay. In New York. Yeah, tornado <laughs> And there's the phones. Yep. <laughs> radar indicated east at 45. Where are you? Okay. That is 12 miles away. This is as good a view as you get in New York State. That's for sure. Should be pretty much straight to the west. Yep. All right. Well, let me park facing that direction. Yeah. It's coming in this direction, it so. Sure is. Christ, it'd be great if it planted itself right over there. Just watch it like go. So. Whoa! whoa uh, it's close. <laughs> Oh wow, that is pretty big now. Should we do the hail guard? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Initially, we weren't even focused on deploying our windshield hail guard, but a few minutes later, we would be glad we did. So many drivers on the Taconic Parkway are about to get caught off guard here. Many of them have never seen hail the size of what they are about to experience. And check out this cross-section of our storm. This image was taken right at the time this video is being shot, at 2.47 p.m., as it was about to hit us. Cloud tops are over 50,000 feet.
Dude! Some of these would have almost baseball size. We lose any glass? Well, that was kind of the guard. I don't know. Jesus. That was the biggest hit. Oh my god. So which mirror did you lose? The uh driver the uh, passenger side mirror. Oh passenger mirror. Oh, yeah. Shadows. That's like it's gone. Wow. That was insane. That was it was. Yeah, four guys camper, Louise. Yeah, I mean. Oh yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow, look at the side there. Wow. Look at all this. Yep. Holy. Look at this. Look at the hail fog. We're getting hail oh, fog I don't now. Even fucking have insurance. <laughs> oh well, it's a work truck. Is really <laughs> this person oh, lost their glass. Look at it, do you see his windshield? Look oh the man! Let me get it from the, get from inside. the inside. You don't mind? Yeah. Oh yeah, my look. goodness. <laughs> I mean, yeah. look at the whole truck. <laughs> that's what did it. Yeah. <laughs> you think you were just coming up from the south and that's what you think there were bigger I, ones down there? You got like yeah. tree parts all over your car uh, yeah, too. Man, it was coming. That was me. Stop. I don't know if you drove fast. Stop down there. It was crazy. No, we're going to turn around and uh, Go yeah. See, that guy lost his back window. Oh man! I uh, you got a whole bunch of new dents for you, though. <laughs> Crazy! Oh my god! You found some way bigger ones than I did. These are. That's bigger than a golf ball. That's, oh, that's golf ball, easy. And that's bigger, I think. <laughs> this one is. Several tornadoes occurred on this day in both New York State and Connecticut, including an EF1 tornado on our storm. The track length was about five miles and it wound through the western and southern part of Saugerties before crossing the Hudson River to the west of our location. We drove south and then east in an attempt to catch any of the tornadoes that may form as they moved into Connecticut, but to no avail. There were also many roads blocked by trees and down power lines, so after navigating around that for about an hour, we decided to call it a chase and head back to Dave's place. It would take another two years before Dave and I finally got to see our first New York tornado. And I'll chronicle that in another video here on my channel in the coming weeks. So be sure to check back. Until then, thanks for watching.